What's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. It's fantastic to see you once again. If you clicked on this video, chances are you either have a podcast or you're thinking about starting one and you're starting to get to thinking about how you can grow that show into a success. So you're looking to get more listeners and increase the likelihood that you can make money and make the show more sustainable going forward. So if those are your goals, you're in the perfect place because throughout this video, I'm going to outline some things that you definitely want to consider to ensure that you're in the right lane and on the path to success. And then also outline some strategies that you likely want to implement to increase the likelihood that your ideal listener can find you and start to consume consume your podcast. So let's get right into it. Let's help you grow your podcast and let's make this a success. Let's do it. So for anybody who may be coming across my channel for the first time, my name is Ben. I make weekly videos on the subjects of podcasting and social media to help you level up and increase your presence. So if you're interested in any of that, be sure to click subscribe and then also the bell button right beside it so you're notified for future videos that can help you crush it. So where I wanna start this whole video off is with some questions or some exercises for you to run through to make sure you're in the right lane. So one, what is the goal of your show? What is the reason for the podcast's existence? I want you to be able to actually answer that. The second is who is your ideal listener? To answer this question, I want you to actually create the ideal listener profile. So what are their interests? What are their struggles? What are they passionate about? What are they thinking about? What are their goals? All those things, I want you to actually break that down because that's gonna make targeting a lot easier moving forward. If you're unable to answer those two questions, what's the goal of your show and who is the ideal listener, then having any lofty goals of huge listener numbers is pretty unrealistic because you don't even know who you're speaking to. So it's very important to have this figured out and to be able to answer these in a pretty precise and succinct manner to ensure that you have the best grasp as to who you're trying to talk to. So by having the best understanding possible as to who exactly you're trying to speak to, it's gonna make creating content and serving that type of person substantially easier going forward. What it also allows you to do is to determine the size of that potential market. So how many of those ideal listeners are actually out there? That's super important to know because these numbers are gonna allow you to set realistic expectations for yourself. And so many people leave podcasting or end up quitting because of not reaching their own expectations that they may have set without having any idea as to if they were even possible. So very important to understand these things as early as possible. If you've already started your show, these are definitely exercises you can still go through and I highly advocate so that you can ensure that you're in the right path, the right lane and targeting the right people. So after you figured out exactly why your show exists and who exactly it's for, I then want you to go see how many of these people exist. So you can do this pretty easily by going to Facebook groups that are aligned with the niche, Instagram pages, tons of different online communities. Go see how many people there actually are out there to then allow you to set realistic goals. If through doing this, you find that your potential audience is very, very small, don't let that discourage you. You can still serve a very small audience and be profitable. It's just important to understand these numbers. So moving forward, you have a better bearing as to what success looks like in your niche. So in the previous step, I asked you to go figure out how many people there are in this potential audience by seeking out different Facebook groups, different online communities on Instagram, whatever it may be. I then want you to become very familiar with these different communities. The reason why I want you to do this is because this is where your ideal listener hangs out. This is where you can speak to them directly one-on-one. -on -one. And that's incredibly valuable because it's gonna maximize all the effort that we're gonna outline going forward. So I want you to join Facebook communities related to your niche, follow Instagram pages, subscribe to YouTubers, maybe it's even on Reddit, join different threads there. Wherever you can be that's related to your niche, I want you to join as many of those communities as possible and become consumed with all of that type of content and who is consuming that content. Okay, so you've now found all these online groups and communities, you're now involved with them. The next step is to interact with as many people as possible. Ideally, if you run a podcast, it should be on a subject that you're an expert in or or very knowledgeable about. And since you're in these groups related to that niche, you are a great resource in these communities to provide value, answer questions, solve problems, whatever it may be. And what I want you to do is do that as often as possible. Be very active in these communities, constantly replying to questions, providing value as much as possible, being a genuine resource. So providing value, not shamelessly plugging your podcast. This will continue as you build more relationships with more and more people, you'll become a resource in these communities. And oftentimes when questions get posed, people will tag you because they know you're a resource and an asset to answer questions because you've done so so many times in the past. So this is using the jab, jab, right hook principle, which Gary Vee wrote an entire book on. So what you're going to do is provide value, provide value, provide value, build a rapport with all these people in this group, build a name for yourself within this community, and then direct them back to your podcast saying that this is where you can further educate yourself, get more of this kind of 
content that's related to the things you know they're interested in because they're in these groups. So as you build more credibility in this space, they're gonna want more and you can direct them more in an organic way through the interactions and the relationships that you build in these specific online communities about your niche. So this is very powerful and it's kind of the modern day word of mouth advertising at scale that is entirely possible because of the internet. So think about these different groups and communities as almost online conferences where if you would think back in the day and still goes on today, conferences where people with similar interests or all in the same profession would meet and congregate to interact and provide value to one another. This happens in real time online in all of these groups and you have the same networking opportunity, but at scale because you can do it all with thousands or millions of people from your computer. Another great thing about online communities is that the value you provide is available to everyone in the group because they can see the post or the thread, whatever it may be. So you're able to reach so many more people with the same amount of effort that used to be just one-to-one. -one. So this is where I want you to start and spend the bulk of your time assimilating yourself and connecting with your ideal listeners and becoming a staple and a constant resource within these communities. So what I just outlined is completely free and organic and it will definitely bring you success the more that you do it, but it does take some time to get going. So if you have no budget, I would invest as much time doing that as physically possible. But if you do have a budget, you can definitely expedite the process with some paid advertising. So when it comes to paid advertising, the usual suspects can all be leveraged. So Facebook, Instagram, Google, you can actually target to people's Gmail, you can do Snapchat, you can do on Spotify. If you're gonna try paid advertising, I definitely encourage experimentation. So that comes in terms of different copy, different platforms, just doing as many things as possible to see what works. And since you have your breakdown of your ideal listener, it's gonna make targeting on all these different platforms substantially easier. So those are gonna be your obvious conventional paid advertising mediums but you can also get a lot more creative to leverage different things through paid means. Another opportunity you may want to consider is leveraging influencer marketing. So what this is, is using someone's influence. So they're following their connection with their community and leveraging that to help drive traffic to your podcast. So this may be in the form of direct promotion where they may post about it on their story or on their feed on either Instagram, YouTube, whatever it may be. Or what I advocate even more is by having them on your show and also doing that stuff to posting about it on their social platforms. So definitely try to get them on your show for free, reach out to them and try to get them on your show with no cost. But some people may not be willing to do it unless paid for. But if they have a very big audience or a big audience relative to your niche and your potential audience, they may be worth the investment to have on your show as they will bring their following along with them by sharing it on their social channels as well as sharing their story or their expertise on your show. Influencer marketing can be very, very powerful and you don't have to have huge, huge numbers of followers for the power of influence to be had on social media. You're more looking for the connection they have with their audience and how tightly connected they are to your niche. Those are the two important things that you definitely wanna hammer out if you're gonna use influencer marketing of any kind, even beyond podcasts. It's all about the connection to their audience and the connection to your niche. Those are paramount. So after hearing that, that's some more homework for you. Write down a list of as many people fit those categories as possible, then reach out to them, try to get them on for free. If that fails, try to broker a deal that works for both sides. Another great form of advertising that you may wanna leverage that does come at a cost is through running giveaways. So these can be run on your own channels, whether it be on Instagram, YouTube, whatever it may be, or you can also pay to promote them to get even more increased exposure. But how you maximize a giveaway and ensure that it's bringing in as many ideal listeners as possible is by making the giveaway substantially more targeted. So how I can explain this is through giving you examples. So say you were running a Michigan football podcast and you were looking to target as many Michigan football fans as possible and make them aware of your show. What you would wanna do is give away Michigan football tickets instead of just a gift card or cash, whatever it may be, by making it substantially more targeted. All of the people that are gonna be involved and in sharing it with their communities are going to be people directly interested in your niche. And the great thing about that is because the snowball effect of that is huge. People hang out with people with similar interests. So when one person who's your ideal listener shares the giveaway, so does the next person, the next person, the next person, because they're all super interested in what you're talking about, the subject matter of your show. So they all become extremely excited by the giveaway. They're all sharing it and promoting it on their social channels to more people with similar interests. And because your show is related to a topic, which they're very interested in, they're very likely to check out your show and since it's subject matter they like, they're likely to subscribe and become a listener. So giveaways are great, but targeted giveaways with some thought are substantially more impactful. So think about that. How could you target your giveaway? What type of product or service could you provide to help bring as many ideal listeners 
as possible and leverage their networks of more of similar people. So I have two more tips for you that can definitely help grow your podcast. But before we continue, I have some requests for you. The first being take two seconds if you're learning something new and smash the like button, helps me out a ton. And my second request is go check out my podcast called Project Passion. It'll be linked in the description box down below. The premise of the show over there is I interview people who have built careers and lifestyles all around their passions to capture their tactics, their failures, their stories to help you do the same and bring more passion to your life. So go check it out. It's linked down below. I just relaunched it and there's a ton of great content coming there. Thank you in advance from the bottom of my heart for doing both. I love you. The next thing you definitely want to do is to watch your analytics. This is something I stress regardless of what platform you're trying to grow on, but it's because it's so important. I encourage experimentation as much as possible, but tracking the performance of experimentation is how you actually get benefit from it. Analytics allow you to see how different things perform. So when you try something new or you try a different kind of guest, I want you to document that and see how your audience reacts to it. You want to equip yourself with as much information as possible to provide as much value you and as much things that your audience resonates with as possible. I love my host Buzzsprout because they provide a great analytics suite, which provides me a ton of ammunition to ensure I'm doing the right things time and time again, that my audience likes, that keeps them coming back. And that allows me to make the show even greater as time goes on. So regardless of what host you use, you definitely want to take the time, invest into your analytics, become very comfortable with the back end, and figure out what works. You will thank me later for doing that. The more you know, the more likely you are to find success and increase the size and potential of your show. So do it up. And the most important thing that you want to do, which I'm sure you've heard a hundred times over, is to remain consistent. As we all know, podcasting is becoming increasingly more competitive. All these strategies, which I've outlined, they all take time, but they all have a compounding effect. The more that you do each one of them, the more that they're going to serve you as time goes on. So if you don't remain consistent, improving your processes, improving your ability to connect with your audience, you won't get the dividends of what you're investing now if you don't continue to do them. So be very committed to it and understand understand that coming into it, that this is a long-term game and you're going to have to ride it out and be consistent. Luckily, this is likely on a subject you're very passionate about. So this won't feel like work, but ensure that you remain consistent so that people know that they can continue to come back and allow the snowball to grow and grow and grow and to build the show and the audience that you're looking for. Once again, if you are new here and you're looking to grow your podcast, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. And after you're done that, go check out the other videos on my channel. I have a ton of podcast related videos that can definitely help you improve your show and grow your audience. Comment shout out winner from last video goes to boom, that user right there. And my question for this specific video is what are your answer to the two questions I asked you in the beginning? What is the goal of your show? And what is the profile breakdown of your ideal listener? Let me know the answers to both of those in the comment section down below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and go check out my podcast, Project Passion linked down below. Have yourself a great, great day. Go blow up your podcast, serve your community and crush it. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Peace.